Hello and welcome back to the Springfield Family Center Kitchen. Today we'll be continuing our series on squash with a simple recipe for butternut squash soup. This soup can be made using frozen squash at home, bought from the grocery store, or received here at the food shelf. This is a great warm dish to enjoy on a cold winter day and we're excited to share it with you. The first thing you'll need to do is gather your ingredients and cooking implements. A knife, a cutting board, measuring spoons, measuring cup, two cloves of fresh garlic or one tablespoon of minced garlic, black pepper, dried sage a 24 ounce container of chicken broth, olive oil, one large or several small onions, one large or several baby carrots, a blender, three bowls, two 12 ounce bags of frozen butternut squash, a large soup pot, a ladle, microwave, and a rubber spatula. Once you have all your materials together, you're ready to start cooking. Microwave your frozen squash in a microwave safe container or plate for five minutes until the squash is defrosted and warm. While the squash is defrosting, get started on cutting your fresh vegetables. Using a sharp knife, remove the outer skin and top and bottom of the onion then dice it into small pieces. Do the same process with your carrot, removing the stalk, then dicing the rest into small bite-sized pieces. These pieces do not have to be too precise as they'll be cooked and blended in the soup later on. In this recipe, we're using diced minced garlic. However, if you prefer fresh garlic, check out our Everyone Cooks videos to learn how to prepare and mince your garlic. In your large soup pot, place your diced carrots and onions with one tablespoon of olive oil Cook it over medium to medium high heat and saute it for five minutes until the onions start to turn clear. At that point, add the garlic and saute it for 30 seconds until it starts to be fragrant. Then add the squash and saute everything together for three minutes.
Once the vegetables are all sauteed together, you can add the chicken broth, dried sage, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper to the pot. Bring it to a rolling boil, then reduce the heat to a simmer. Allow the soup to simmer for 15 minutes, then take the pot off the stovetop to cool. After the soup has cooled to the point where the pot is warm but the soup is no longer steaming, transfer it to a blender or food processor. and blend it on medium speed until the soup is smooth in texture. Another option is to use an immersion blender and blend everything together still in the pot. If you use an immersion blender, make sure to thoroughly blend everything until there are no full pieces of vegetable left. If desired, you can reheat the soup on the stove top before serving. You can also optionally freeze the leftovers of this soup or make a big batch to freeze. It will last for nine months in the freezer but cannot be refrozen once it's thawed as it will lose its taste and texture. Thank you for joining us in the kitchen today. We hope you enjoyed this recipe and we'll try it at home. See you next time here at the Springfield Family Center.